Hey guys, it's Austin. Welcome back to the channel today. We're excited to talk about another new product that we're going to be offering on our site, and that is our tree limb bow hanger system. So another another new bow hanger, I know, I know, but I believe that this thing is innovative enough and it will help you be that much more efficient in the woods to help you bag that big buck. So how it works is it allows you to hang your bow from any limb that's coming off of a tree to basically help you if you're sitting in a saddle or in a tree stand. So if my back's against the tree, if I want to hang my bow from right here, it's easy to reach and I don't have to have anything that screws into the tree or mounts to the tree that I have to reach really far. If I'm in a saddle like this, I can easily grab it instead of having to reach forward and have more movement. So how it works is you'll take the paracord, wrap it around, then you'll take your hook right here, slide it through the double overhand knot loop, and then you'll girth hitch it. It's just girth hitching it to this limb right here. So then when it's girth hitched, you'll take your tag end, slide the hook up the tag end, and then I'll just pull it tight like this, and then take my tag end and just wrap it around the limb. Um, if you go the opposite way or the wrong way, you'll notice that if you try to pull this tight, your girth hitch will just spin around the tree. So that's an obvious way to know if you're doing this incorrectly. So I'm going the correct way because it is getting tight and it's not sliding around. Once I get to this end of my tag end, so you see how I have that much left, I lift up the last loop of the paracord and I slide that tag end underneath it and I just pull tight on it and that's it. So then I can take my bow and I can hang it from the limb just like that. That's it. That's how I uh, designed this system. It is designed with a lot of key features in mind. Um, the paracord is specifically wrapping around the tree like that because it allows it to lock and pull it to run parallel with the limb. So you can see this hook fouls the limb up and it's not going to rotate like crazy. Even if there's a windy day, this isn't gonna like just spin around just like this. Um, this is being pulled tight so it has to follow or it wants to follow the limb um, is a better way to put it. So you don't have to worry about this thing wanting to spin as it gets windy out or whatever. Um, the other thing about it is we have this very large loop right here, or this lip, sorry, not loop, lip, to make you feel a little bit more secure that it's not gonna wanna slide off. Um, another thing is that um, we know that when you get in situations where a big buck or a deer comes in and you wanna shoot it or you wanna lift your bow off this hook, um, we design this so that it has a little angle here. So as you watch me lift my limb up out of this hook, I'm gonna lift it and actually hit this angle here and you watch the hook as it pushes itself out of the way. So I lift up and I hit that. You can see the hook just bent that way and then it makes it so I can easily slide this out. I can do the same way, just follow that down and then set in there. So it's kind of a nice little guide for you as you pull it out and put it back in. You can just follow that down. Super, super simple if you're not watching and looking at it. So if I'm like looking over here, I know I can just lift up and pull out just like that. And then I can just bring it back in. Obviously when you put it back in, you wanna look. But to get it out, if I have a deer that's coming in over here, I know from designing this and using this over and over, I can lift up and pull straight out just like that and be able to shoot that deer. Again, you may not be in that scenario where you wanna like not look at where your bow is coming off of, but I've used this enough that I feel very comfortable where I can watch that deer come in, basically just pull it off just like that be able to shoot that deer without having to worry about this thing getting hung up on that bow hanger. Um, so the other side of it is we use paracord um, for a reason. We tried bungee or shack cord, whatever you want to call it, but what that is, what bungee cord is designed to do is kind of give a little bit, stretch a little bit. We wanted this to be solid to this limb. Um, for one, it want, we want it to not rotate on this limb. And then the other side of it is when you pick your bow up, we want it to be a solid system. We don't want it to stretch down and then follow your limb up as you uh, pull your bow off. So uh, we found out that right away that bungee cord with this um, type of bow hanger system does not work really well. Um, so yeah, we, we believe that this is a unique enough bow hanging system that 
you won't want to leave it sitting at home or even on our site you'll want to buy it because there's going to be scenarios where um, this is very key for you uh, it weighs less than two ounces so to throw it in your pack backpack or in your saddle pouch or whatever you won't even notice it's there um, and i tell you what when you get in a scenario when you want to use it or need to use it you'll be very happy that you threw it in your backpack so but yeah, uh, that's it. That's the limb bow hanger system. Um, hopefully that's helpful for you guys that are looking to be just a little bit more efficient in the woods to help you bag that big buck or the, even that big doe. Um, so, but yeah, we uh, hope to have another new products coming out for you guys. We have a lot coming in the pipeline. So stay tuned. We'll have more videos hitting the channel here soon.